Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. After five consecutive days with high temperatures below 80, the warmer than normal temps return today, but not too unusual. We normally get a surge of warmth late September, early October, but it doesn't have all the humidity. So nighttime is still pretty comfortable, but probably a little bit warmer than you might like it during the day. And our highs this afternoon were in the mid to upper 80s, 86 Evansville, Owensboro, 87 Henderson, 88 in Fairfield and Carmi. And we should be in that same ballpark again the next couple of days, which will also be dry. Live first warning Doppler radar is all clear. That'll probably be the case until Friday. That's when some scattered showers and thunder showers will return. But we are moving into our secondary severe weather season, and this is our preparedness week for the fall season, which are basically the months of October and November. We'll be talking about uh, some of the, the facts and figures and, and things you need to do as we prep for this season, which is right around the corner. And one thing to remember about tornadoes this time of the year, they generally move faster, which means there's less time to react. They're, they're a faster moving storm than what we see in the spring and the early summer. And of course, the deeper we get into fall, the earlier the sun sets, and it'll be more likely that these would be nighttime tornadoes. And the simple fact that in the fall, we're enjoying some beautiful weather. We don't really think about tornadoes, but we've had some big ones in the past, including the big outbreak in 05 in the Evansville area, then nine days later in Hopkins County, and then Owensboro hit in 07, October, with an F3 tornado. So we'll be gearing up for our season. Hopefully it won't be a big deal. No indications that it will be, but this is the week to prepare. Right now we're enjoying a nice but mild evening. Our roofclaim.com tower camera looking down on the riverfront. Our superior ag tower camera in downtown Evansville with the temperature right at 70. The dew point though is at 61. So you kind of feel that humidity a bit, but it's still tolerable with the southwest wind settling down at six miles per hour. Temperatures generally 65, I say upper 60s to low 70s across the area. And we're going to wind up between about 60 and 65 by daybreak. Comfortable, but above normal uh, for this time of the year. Our average low is in the mid 50s. Bigger picture shows high pressure controlling our weather. Upper level low is spinning out here. That's going to drift east. It's basically between a, a battle between the high and the low, and eventually this system will win out. It's just a matter of how quickly it moves to the east, and that will be dictating how our rain chances play out over the weekend. But in the short term, we're fine. Skies are mainly clear right now. We'll keep it that way overnight. Future tracker painting, another mostly sunny day tomorrow. A lot like today, mid to upper 80s, not too humid. And then tomorrow night, 70s during the evening, back between 60 and 65 to start Wednesday, which will be another mostly sunny day, mid to upper 80s. A little more cloud cover coming in Wednesday night and Thursday will feature more of a mix of sun and clouds but it's looking dry highs come down a bit low to mid 80s but the humidity is still noticeable before the scattered showers and thunder showers return on Friday so clear and mild overnight 60 to 65 mostly sunny warm not too humid tomorrow mid to upper 80s seven day forecast Wednesday basically the same as Monday and Tuesday with a high of 87. A mix of sun and clouds Thursday, high down to 84. And as we head into October and the weekend, looks like a mix of sun and clouds, 40 to 50 percent chance of rain in the form of some scattered showers and thunder showers brings our highs back to normal, upper 70s to around 80. But confidence is kind of low on the weekend because some models are really dry, others are hitting those rain chances harder. So those numbers could come down. Don't cancel any outdoor plans. But you notice by Monday of next week, we kick off the fall festival on a West Franklin Street. And the highs be into the mid 70s, just about perfect. That's, that is about perfect. That'd be All nice. right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Wayne. Yeah.